Hi everybody. So I got a new panel here. It's a Honeywell DeltaNet FS90 series. And you may not be too familiar with these systems. They're somewhat rare. Um, and at first glance, it just kind of looks like your typical 80s or early 90s modular conventional system like the Firelight Census Scan. But it's actually an incredibly flexible and intelligent system. This particular panel is a pretty standard configuration. It's all conventional and standalone. Um, but they were available with numerous uh, expansion options, including addressability, voice evacuation. Um, it could be integrated into the Excel Plus HVAC system for smoke control and dampers. Um, it was also compatible with the Delta 1000 series complete uh, building automation system. So pretty, pretty impressive system. Um, you saw these a lot in very large facilities like airports and hospitals where Honeywell would install several services in the building, not just fire alarm. Um, the reason why the first two letters of the model number are FS is because it stands for fire and security. Um, these were very much as capable of handling security and access control as they were fire alarm functions. And unlike some of the other panels that tried to do this, um, the FS90 was actually used for those purposes quite a bit. So let's take a look inside here. I have the door being held shut with magnets because unfortunately I don't have the key. But the control card is pretty standard. Looks like uh, this, actually it's very similar to the control card on the census scan. Um, but we've got acknowledge, silence, reset, panel test, which is a lamp test. It flashes all the LEDs and a manual evacuation switch, which I'll show a little bit later. So these are basically, these actually aren't the cards themselves, these are just stick-on labels, and a few of these labels are actually uh, wrong um, towards the bottom, but we got six zones here. Uh, these zones are all Class A. Um, a few of the others are Class B. I don't know, I really don't know why they mixed Class A and Class B on one system. I think at some point it was upgraded. Um, but we've got a digital output card here, and this has two troubles on it because I haven't quite figured out how these are supervised. It doesn't seem to need an end-of-line resistor, but I'm not really sure. So right now there are two troubles. But this card over here is a transmitter card. It has a master box, a 100 milliamp loop, as well as two relays for a communicator to be added on, and it has a disconnect switch. Down here on the second motherboard, we've got four Class B zones, two of which have troubles because the I, I only used the end-of-line resistors that came with the panel. Um, Radio Shack didn't have them because it's 1.91K, which is kind of uh, weird resistance. You don't see those a lot. Um, right here, you can't really see it because there's no label, um, but there are four programmable relays. And then we've got our notification appliance circuits. Two of them are Class A, two of them are Class B. And this card also has two programmable relays on it. Now, the somewhat unfortunate thing is that, like a lot of these kind of systems from this time period, um, it requires an EEPROM to program, which you had to use a burner, um, which was connected to the DeltaNet CAE configuration software, which I don't have any of that. So I can't really program some of the advanced functions on this panel, but that's kind of okay because um, it's a conventional system. It's pretty easy to clear the troubles on. Um, I just need to figure out some of the wiring. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull it. Actually, before I do that, I'll just go over what I have here. It's a Honeywell S464A pull station. Um, we've got a relatively rare red lens wheel lock strobe. I think Honeywell was the only company, at least the only company I've ever seen, that used these strobes with the red lenses. We've got a wheel lock 34T and a two-wire conventional smoke detector. So let's pull it. it and we might be able to make it go back into alarm with the manual evac switch let's see yeah it just does a subsequent and I'm gonna have to put the camera down to reset this pull station sorry about that
Okay, the pull station's reset. And you can see we have an alarm on zone three. So now let's reset the panel. And the troubles will come in. Yep, there they are. So let's acknowledge that. Um, it's kind of funny because like the Simplex 2001, this panel when I got it, this panel came without a key and it also came with a broken piezo sounder, um, which is actually, I guess, kind of a good thing because it would be very annoying to have to acknowledge all these troubles. But anyway, that's the system for now. Um, hopefully I'll make another video going into more detail about what this system can do once I learn a little bit more about it and get some of the wiring sorted out. But anyway, thanks for watching.